what's going on at Harvard University. Take a look. At Harvard, it's Palestinian solidarity groups initially releasing a joint statement holding the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all the unfolding violence. At the end of the day, this is a group that seeks the destruction of the Jewish race, and it's not the right time to be um, issuing a pro-Palestinian statement. Backlash quickly ensued, a professor posting a photo of a truck driving around campus showing photos, which he redacted, of some of the students who signed the statement. Some groups formally apologizing and retracting their signature while over 4,000 members of the Harvard community signed a counter statement. There's a lot of like tension, a lot of people have missed class. Harvard's president condemning the terrorist atrocities perpetuated by Hamas, emphasizing that the student body does not speak for Harvard University. I feel like Harvard um, very visibly and loudly stood by Israel, but I don't hear the same frustration for the, the blood that's been shed for the Palestinians. Students across the country wondering whose voices will be loudest. Yeah, and it is remarkable, uh, Alex. And the, the thing that is the unites all of these stories is the historical ignorance about what actually is happening. They think that these that Israel was never a Jewish territory. They think that somehow it, it is Israel persecuting these Palestinians when the Arabs around them don't want any part of them. Uh, right now, what Egypt is telling the Palestinians, you stay there and get bulldozed. We are not letting you into our country. And this is interesting, Alex. Why is it that in America, if we don't take everybody across the border, including killer, killers and drunk drivers and terrorists, if we don't take them in, we're evil. AOC is calling for a million Palestinians to be repatriated here, repatriated here. And when the Arab countries that could easily absorb these Palestinians, give them better education, give them hospitals, give them better nutrition, want no part of them but Israel, where they work, where they join the uh, parliament, they, they become part of the, the, uh, the government, they, they dine gay Palestinians, with female Palestinians, way more rights and civil rights and opportunities in Israel than they have any place else in the, in the, in the uh, Arab world. And these kids in college know absolutely nothing about it. Yeah, th there has been uh, a number of false narratives <clears throat> deliberately concocted over the years, I think partly to, to keep this perpetual conflict going. Um, but uh, one of the things that you see, for example, is this whole identity of Palestinian. Um, this is a new term, right? Uh, the Palestine mandate. I mean, that goes back to you know the Roman times. The British had the, the Palestine mandate. And then they decided to do the two-state solution. And one state was to be Arab. One state was to be for the Jews. And, of course, the Arabs got their state. It was called Transjordan. And then Jordan, the Jews got their state. Now, the Jews allowed uh, Arabs to remain in their state. In fact, there are about two million Arab citizens of Israel. They're full citizens. They enjoy all the benefits, rights, and protections of any other uh, citizen of the state of Israel. Uh, but uh, they've created this notion of a Palestinian that... Uh, you know, somehow has been dispossessed. That's not to say that there's never been uh, anything bad that has Do happened the there, but the the Palestinian identity itself uh, is really a, a recent innovation. It's been manufactured, I think, partly for propaganda purposes. And you make a really good point. Uh, there, there really are very little difference between, you know, a, this group of Arabs or that group of Arabs. You know, some of them come from different tribes and stuff, but they're all Arabs. Uh, and so why can these Arabs who need to come to the United States or, or supposedly need to have all the territory that the Jews have, why can't they join Egypt? Why can't they join Jordan or Syria or Iraq or any of the Arab states in the vicinity there? Uh, and the reason is uh, there are evildoers who want to exploit this perpetual conflict for political and subversive purposes. And, um, and we're watching that play out right now.